Thanks everyone for joining me for Deep Stretch today. I'm gonna start our warm up by walking around my space. I have my yoga mat laid out and I'm just gonna take some steps back and forth, whatever space you have, or you can walk in place, just getting our bodies gently warmed up and ready to get into some stretching today. Super important to just gently warm up your bodies before we start stretching so that your muscles are warm and you can have the most effective workout as possible. As I'm walking it out, I'm gonna add in some arm swings. So I'm gonna start with my arms, fingertips pointed towards the ground, and just swinging my arms forward and back at my sides, opening up my chest, feeling my shoulder blades stretch out if it feels good. You can also swing your arms across your body from left to right, across your chest, feeling that stretch in your shoulders. And once you're feeling good with a little bit of walking it out, I'm gonna to come to the center of my mat. My feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna move into some arm circles. I'm gonna start with my arms in that T position, fingers pointed towards either side and my elbows are straight. I'm gonna start with really big circles going forward. So reaching my hands up as tall as I can towards the ceiling and then bringing my arms down in front of me and then rolling them back around. Really feeling that full stretch as you're reaching. And then I'm gonna slowly make my arms a little bit smaller, my arm circles a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter together, a little bit quicker. I'm gonna let my arms fall down at my side and I'm going to alternate, switch directions. This time I'm gonna do my circles backwards. So starting with really big circles, fingertips to the ceiling. This time my arms are gonna come back behind me, falling down at my side and then coming back around, making your circles as big as you can, reaching as far as you can in all directions. And then my circles are gonna get a little bit smaller, a little bit quicker. And once you're feeling good with arm circles, I'm gonna let my arms fall down at my side. I like to shake out my arms, kind of wiggle my fingers, wiggle my wrists, and then just let my arms fall down to the side. From there, I'm gonna move into some marching in place or high knees. Uh, my feet are shoulder width apart. I like to have my hands on my hips for balance, bringing one knee up at a time towards my chest, going pretty slow, working on some balance here, waking up my hips, my glutes, my hamstrings, just marching in place. If it feels good for you, you could take it a little bit faster, maybe go into a high knee, just depending on what feels good for you right now. We'll do about 10 of these, focusing on warming up that lower body. And in three, two, one, let's switch. I'm gonna switch to glute kicks. Same format here, my feet are shoulder width apart. My hands are on my hips. I'm gonna kick one heel back at a time towards my glutes while I'm keeping my knee pointed towards the ground. This time, stretching out my quads at the top of my legs going at whatever speed feels good for you here, really focusing on that stretching. And if you wanna pick up the pace a little bit, we'll go for 10 more seconds with glute kicks. And in three, two, one, let's switch. Gonna move into some windmill toe touches. Gonna plant my feet a little bit farther than shoulder width apart, having a good base, whatever feels best for you. Putting my arms into that T position, fingers stretched out to either side. And then from here, hinging at my waist, touching opposite hand down towards opposite foot, as far as you can reach. Again, we'll do about 10 of these at your own speed. Take your time to feel that full body stretch. And then slowly stand up and switch directions. Feeling that stretch in my hips, my hamstrings, Kind of just waking up my full body here. Got a few more. And last one. Once you're feeling good with your windmill toe touches, coming back up to standing, gonna bring my feet in a little bit closer together. And I'm gonna move into calf raises. Now my feet are shoulder width apart. You can do both feet at the same time or just one foot at a time. Raising up onto our toes, holding that for a second and then lowering, lowering our heels back down towards the ground. Stretching our ankles, stretching our calves, working on a little balance. Again, about 10 of these at your own speed. 
pausing at the top if you can to really feel that stretch in your calves at the back of your legs. And in three, two, one. Let's finish out here with some shoulder circles. I'm gonna keep my hands, um, fingers pointed towards the ground. I'm gonna do both shoulders at the same time. So bringing my shoulders up towards my ears, puffing my chest out, rolling my shoulders back behind me, kind of squeezing my shoulder blades together, and then bringing my shoulders back around to the front. Doing a couple of those in one direction and then going the opposite way. So now I'm going forward with my circles, still bringing my ears up to my shoulders, but now this time in front of my body, my chest caves in just a little bit and then coming back around. Once you're feeling good with shoulder circles, gonna finish it out here just by shaking, shaking it out. Shake your arms out, shake your legs out. Take a few moments here to finish warming up whatever you need. While I talk a little bit about our workout today, I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. For, excuse me, for our deep stretch plan today, we have two different sequences. We're gonna start with a standing sequence and then halfway through we'll switch to a seated sequence on the ground or on your mat, whatever you have. We are gonna be doing a flow style today. So that means I'm going to describe the movements as we're doing them. So if you have any questions at any time, just feel free to shout them out. And if you need any modifications, also feel free to ask me at any time. This um, deep stretch plan should be similar to the one that we did last week. So if you were here, you might find some similarities, but if you do have any questions, feel free to shout them out. I am gonna start some background music and then we're gonna get into our first flow. Let me know if at any time the music is too loud, too quiet, but we're gonna get started. So starting with our standing flow, the first thing that we're gonna do is just some mindful breathing to really just calm down our bodies, regulate our heart rate, our breathing, and just focus on how we're feeling today. Starting by just standing with our feet shoulder width apart, my toes are pointed in front of me. I am going to reach both my hands up at the same time towards the ceiling while taking in a really big inhale breath. I wanna reach up as tall as I can to feel that full body stretch as I'm reaching. And then on the exhale, I'm just letting my hands fall back down at my side, fingertips to the ground. So I'm, my body's pretty, is staying still. I'm just focusing on reaching, taking that inhale breath, and then exhale, hands come back down at my side. We'll do this about five times, really taking your time on that inhale, holding it for a few seconds, and then release, hands come back down at your side. If it feels good for you, you can in inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. I'm gonna do a couple more here, reaching up tall, and then exhale, hands come down. And last one, make this the best deep breath, breathing in, and exhale, hands come down at your side. From here, we're gonna kind of work from our head down to our lower body. So we're gonna start with some neck circles or some neck stretches. I'm gonna start by bringing my right ear down towards my right shoulder. I wanna focus on having good posture here. So I wanna stand up tall. I wanna bring that ear down to my shoulder, not bringing my shoulders up to my ear. You wanna have nice relaxed shoulders. And then as your right ear comes down to that right shoulder, I'm feeling that stretch all throughout the left side of my neck. If it feels good for you and you would like to add some gentle extra pressure, you can take that right hand, place it on the top of your head by your left ear, and just gently add pressure down towards the ground. You never wanna feel any pain as we're stretching. You just want to feel a nice, comfortable pull or a nice, comfortable stretch. And when you're ready, bringing that head back to neutral, lowering that head, hand down, and we're gonna to switch to the left side. I'm gonna bring my left ear this time down towards my left shoulder, feeling that stretch all throughout the right side of my neck. And if it feels good for you, you can take that left hand, 
place it on the top of your head by your right ear and just add some more gentle pressure down towards the ground. I'm gonna bring my head back up to neutral, taking a moment to let my body recover once I'm back towards the center. This time, I'm gonna bring my chin to my chest and point my nose down towards the ground. So I'm feeling that stretch this time in the back of my neck into my shoulder blades. Holding here for just a few seconds. And then when you're ready, bringing that head back to neutral. We'll finish out this little sequence this time by bringing our nose pointed towards the ceiling, our heads coming back. This time feeling that stretch at the front of our neck, down into our chest. And when you're ready, bringing your head back to neutral. Taking a moment here to just let your body relax. We're gonna combine all of those movements that we just did into neck circles. So we took that static movement, now we're gonna go into a, dynam a dynamic movement with some clockwise and counterclockwise neck circles. I'm gonna start by going clockwise with my circles. So I'm gonna start by bringing my nose up towards the ceiling, bringing that right ear down to my right shoulder, bringing my chin to my chest, nose points to the ground, coming around so my left ear is near my left shoulder, and then back to the beginning. Clockwise neck circles here, taking your time through each movement, going as slow or as quick as feels good for you. After you've done about two or three rotations, I'm gonna switch directions. Now I'm gonna go counterclockwise, opposite way this time. Same thing, two or three times with these neck circles. And when you're ready, bringing your head back to neutral, taking a moment there to let your body recover. We're gonna move down into some shoulder stretches, some arm stretches here. I'm gonna start by interlacing my fingers in front of my chest. So intertwining my fingers here, we're gonna start by reaching up towards the ceiling. So I'm extending my arms up towards the ceiling turning my hands so that my palms are facing the ceiling and my knuckles are facing the top of my head. From here, I'm gonna push my hands up towards the ceiling. So I'm feeling that stretch from my fingers down my wrists into my arms. And I'm just gonna hold it here for about 10 more seconds. If it feels good for you, you can bring your chin to your chest as your arms are reaching up towards the sky just adds a little bit of an extra stretch in your neck. And in three, two, one, unlacing my fingers and letting my hands fall down to the sides. I'm gonna do that one more time, same direction, starting by lacing my fingers in front of my chest, in front of my belly button here. When you're ready, taking that big inhale breath, reaching your arms up towards the ceiling, palms are turning, fingers are laced, feeling that stretch all the way through. This time, if it feels good for you, I'm going to point my nose towards the ceiling, my head's gonna fall back while I'm still reaching up towards the ceiling. And in three, two, one, letting my arms slowly fall back down at my sides and taking a moment here to let your body recover. From here, I'm gonna take my right arm and I'm gonna reach my right arm across my body so my right hand points towards the wall to my left. So full extension across my chest here. And then with my left hand grabbing at my right elbow, and just gently pulling in towards my chest. That arm across stretch here, feeling this in the outside of our right shoulder. 
We'll hold it here for about 10 more seconds. Again, as we're stretching our arms, adding those little head movements can change where you're feeling the stretch a little bit. So if it feels good for you for this one, I'm gonna turn my head to point my nose to the wall to my right. Just adding in that little neck rotation makes it feel my stretch in the back of my neck a little bit more. And in three, two, one, bringing my head back to neutral, letting my arms fall down at my side. We're gonna repeat that same thing now with our left arm. So reaching my left arm across my chest, my left fingers point to the wall to my right. Then with my right hand, grabbing at my left elbow and gently pulling in towards my chest. Feeling that stretch all throughout the left side of our shoulder into our forearm a little bit. And if it feels good, turning my head so that my nose this time points the wall to my left. And in three, two, one, and release. Bringing your head back to center and letting those arms fall down at your side. From here, this time I'm gonna interlace my fingers behind my back. So kind of just jumping around a little bit here. This time, interlacing my fingers behind my back. My elbows are bent. From here, I'm going to extend my arms out straight back behind me. My palms turn so that my knuckles are facing the wall and my palms are facing my back. My chest is puffed out forward as my shoulder blades are squeezing together. If it doesn't feel good for you to have your fingers laced here, you can just reach both of your arms back behind you while still puffing that chest out. Same thing here, if it feels good for you. I'm gonna bring my chin to my chest. My nose points down towards the floor. And in three, two, one, and release. Bring your head back up to neutral. Arms come back towards, back to the side of our body. We're gonna go the opposite direction now, interlacing those fingers, this time in front of our belly button, in front of our chest. Arms are bent, but when you're ready, extending both of those arms out forward. My palms turn this time. Knuckles are facing me. Palms are facing the wall in front of me. And arms are parallel to the floor as we're reaching out. Feeling that stretch now as our chest kind of caves in, our shoulder blades separate. Still can bring that chin to your chest. You can point your nose to the ceiling or look over either of your shoulders. And in three, two, one, and release. Let your arms fall down at your side. Take a moment here to let your body recover. Gonna finish out kind of our arm stretch here with just some shoulder circles. I'm gonna do one shoulder at a time. So get a little bit more of a focused shoulder stretch and kind of just roll out our upper body. Starting with my right shoulder, fingertips are pointed towards the floor, bringing that right shoulder up to my right ear. I like to have really slow and exaggerated movements as I'm doing these shoulder rolls so that I'm kind of feeling like a massage with my shoulder against my neck, down my back. Just focusing on that right shoulder here, going one direction. And then I'm gonna switch. I was going backwards with my circles. Now I'm gonna go forward with my circles, still just on that right side, bringing my shoulder up towards my ear. Shoulder comes in front of my chest and then back around. Once that's feeling good, I'm gonna switch to my left. Same thing here, gonna start one direction. I'm gonna start going backwards on my left shoulder, bringing that ear, shoulder up to my ear. Going really slow, feeling every movement. 
I'm gonna switch directions. Now I'm gonna finish out here with these circles going forward. And once that's feeling good, I'm gonna let my arms fall down at my side, let my shoulders relax, let my body recover. Take a few moments here, maybe grab a little water if you need and let your body rest. We're gonna move down into some lower body stretches. We're gonna start with some ankle stretches, some calf stretches. So this is a great one if you have some space around you, a chair, a table, a wall, if you need to hold on for any balance. I just have a wall behind me that I'm just gonna rest my fingers on for a little bit of balance here if you need it. We're gonna start with ankle points. I'm gonna start with my right ankle, my right foot. Right now my feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna take one step forward with my right foot. My toes are gonna point towards the ground to start. So my foot is just hovering off the ground just a little bit, pointing my toes down towards the floor so that I'm feeling this stretch in my ankle, kind of at the top of my ankle, at the top of my foot. Hold it here for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna switch, this time bringing my toes up towards the ceiling. This time I'm flexing my foot, flexing my foot, toes come to the ceiling. Now I'm feeling that stretch in kind of the back of my ankle, in my calf a little bit. And I'm just gonna hold it here for a few more seconds. And release, gonna bring that right foot down to meet my left foot. I'm gonna switch feet. So now I'm gonna go to my left foot, taking that one step forward with my left foot here. You can rest your foot on the ground or you can have that foot just hovering a little bit over. I'm gonna start by, start by pointing those left toes to the ground, feeling that stretch in my ankle at the top of my foot all the way down to my toes. And then when you're ready, bringing those toes up towards the ceiling, flexing that foot kind of towards your body. And in three, two, one, bringing that left foot back to meet the right. We'll go one more time on each foot there at your own speed this time. So pointing those toes, flexing them up towards the ceiling as many times as feels good for you. We'll go for about 15 seconds on each foot. We'll start with that right foot. When you're ready, go ahead, ankle point with that right foot, flexing your toes towards the ground, and then or pointing your toes towards the ground, and then flexing them up towards the ceiling. Go five more seconds. And three, two, one, bringing that right foot back to meet your left. And we'll finish here with that left foot. When you're ready, stepping that left foot one step forward. And just moving through that point and that flex at your own pace. And in three, two, one, bringing that left foot down, taking a moment here to let your body recover. We're gonna move and finish up here with some quad stretches. So if you are using something for balance, just like we did in our ankle stretches, you can use that same um, thing for our quad stretches, our standing quad. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. So I have my left hand just against the wall for some support against the chair. I'm going to bend my right foot like we're doing a glute kick. So bending my right knee and then with my right hand, grabbing onto my right foot and just gently pulling that foot towards your glutes until you feel a stretch at the top of your right leg. If you are not feeling a stretch, check in with your posture here. You wanna make sure that right knee is pointed towards the ground. If that right knee is pointed towards the ground and you're still not feeling a stretch, you can 
bring that knee back behind you just a little bit until you are feeling that stretch. So you wanna have good tall posture, but that knee placement when you're doing this kind of controls where you're feeling that stretch. And in three, two, one, and release. Lower that right foot down towards the ground. Take a moment here to recover and then we're gonna switch sides. So now we're gonna do that left leg. So with my right hand, I'm just holding on to the wall behind me or to my right side. Kicking that left foot back into that glute kick while grabbing my left foot with my left hand and just gently pulling that foot towards your glutes. Again, my knees pointed towards the ground until I'm feeling that stretch at the top of my left leg in my glutes, or sorry, in my quads. We'll hold here for 10 more seconds. And in three, two, one, and release. We're gonna finish up just doing that one more time on both legs, just to make sure we're getting a good quad stretch on both sides. So when you're ready, going back to that right leg, picking that foot up into your right hand, we'll finish this right leg with about 15 seconds of this quad stretch when you're ready. And in three, two, one, and release. Last one here, gonna switch. Bringing that left foot into that left hand. Last 15 seconds here of our quad stretch on our left leg. And in three, two, one, and release. Awesome job, everybody. We are gonna transition from our standing flow to our seated or floor flow. So take this time to maybe grab some water, transition to a spot on the ground where you feel comfortable. I'm gonna grab a little water as well. We're going to start our first kind of sequence um, just by sitting. So getting into a comfortable position, just sitting on the ground, sitting on your glutes, and just taking a moment once you are in that ground position to just let your body relax. Think about how you're feeling. Think about how your muscles are feeling. We are going to start with a seated forward fold. So I'm going to extend my legs straight out in front of me, sitting on my glutes. Really want to sit up tall for this one. Focusing on my posture is super important as we're stretching because we just want to start from a good place so that we're getting the most out of all of our stretches here. So sitting up really as tall as you can, feeling your spine straighten out behind you. My feet are um, flex, so my toes are pointed towards the ceiling here, and I can almost feel my whole leg against the ground. I'm going to start this forward fold by taking a really big inhale breathe, breath as I'm reaching both of my hands towards the ceiling. I find the more you reach up towards the ceiling as you fold, the farther you're able to reach. So taking that big inhale breath in, reaching up towards the ceiling, and then on the exhale, we're gonna forward fold, hands come towards your toes, your knees, your ankles. Finding a spot that you can hold here where you're feeling that stretch throughout the backs of your legs into your lower back. We're gonna hold here for about 20 more seconds. Whether you're holding your toes, your ankles, your knees, whatever feels best for you. And in three, two, one, slowly release. 
Coming back up towards that seated, seated position and let your body recover. Once you are feeling a little bit recovered here, we're gonna go one more time. Try to see if we can just reach maybe a little bit further, maybe get our chest a little bit closer to our legs. Starting with that big reach up towards the ceiling, taking an inhale breath. And on the exhale, forward fold, hands come towards your feet, chest comes down towards your knees. Last about 20 seconds here. Last 10. And in three, two, one, and release. Slowly come back up to that seated position and let your body recover. We are still kind of gonna focus on our legs here, but this time I am going to extend my right leg out towards the right and I'm gonna pull my left foot in towards my body. So my right leg is extended straight. I, instead of it being right in front of me, I shifted my leg to the right. So it is out to the right. And then with my left foot, I'm bringing my left foot in towards the uh, middle of my right thigh so that my left knee is bent and my right leg is straight here. This time we're still gonna focus on that kind of forward fold motion, but this time both of our hands are going to come towards our right foot. So when you're ready, you're gonna reach both hands up towards the ceiling in that starting position. And then this time as we exhale, both hands are gonna come down towards that right foot. So I'm leaning a little bit to the right, feeling that focus stretch on that right leg and also a little bit in my lower back on the left side. Again, holding your toes, your ankle, your knee, wherever feels good. So hold it here for about 15 more seconds. And in three, two, one, slowly coming back up to that seated position. We are gonna switch legs, extending that left leg out this time to the left, bringing that right foot in towards your body. My right foot comes to the center of my left thigh right now, and my left leg is extended out straight. Same thing, when you're ready, you're reaching, inhale breath up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, forward fold, hands come to that left foot. This time feeling that focus stretch on that left leg and also in that right side, lower, lower back. On my left side, I definitely feel my range of motion is a little bit less. So I'm not, I'm definitely not going as far. I never want to feel any pain, just a comfortable stretch here. And it's okay if you can't do the same on both sides. And in three, two, one, coming back up into that seated position. We're gonna transition from here into a butterfly stretch. So we have our right leg already bent. I'm just gonna bring my left foot in to meet my right foot. So the bottoms of both of my feet come together for this butterfly stretch here. Play around with your positioning here where your feet are. It's just gonna change where you feel the stretch a little bit in the intensity that you feel the stretch. So if your feet are farther away or if your feet are closer to your body, wherever feels best for you. We're gonna start by sitting up tall. I'm gonna grab both of my toes with both of my hands and I'm just gonna lean into this butterfly stretch, leaning forward trying to bring my chest to the ground, feeling that stretch this time in my groin, my inner thighs, my hips. And we'll just hold it here for about 15 more seconds. 
I find with this one, the farther that my feet are away from my body, the lower I can bring my chest towards the ground. But the closer that my feet are to my body, the more intense I'm feeling that stretch as I lean. Both feel good, but whatever feels best for you. And in three, two, one, slowly coming back up to a seated position. If you need to take a moment to let your legs recover, you can come out of that butterfly position. We are going to finish that butterfly one more time. This time, instead of leaning forward into our butterfly stretch, I'm gonna lean backwards. So I'm gonna plant both of my hands back behind my back. My elbows are straight, my palms are flat on the ground. My fingers are facing the wall behind me. This time I'm gonna focus on letting my knees kind of fall as close to the floor as I can. Maybe just adding a little pressure as you're pulling them down. But I am puffing my chest out forward, squeezing my shoulder blades together and just gently leaning back. Really feel like this one is opening up my hips. Just feeling the stretch in a little different capacity than when we were leaning forward. Also, it's stretching out our shoulders, our chest, as we are engaging those muscles as well. And in three, two, one, and release. I'm gonna let my legs come out of that butterfly position, bring my hands off of the ground, and just let my body recover. We are going to finish this kind of seated sequence, this forward fold sequence with a kind of a straddle forward fold. So this time extending both of my legs out straight. My right leg, I'm gonna bring out straight to the right. My left leg, I'm gonna bring out straight to the left. And then from here, sitting up tall, taking that big inhale breath in, reaching my hands up towards the ceiling. And then this time as we exhale, bringing my hands directly into the center as far as I can reach forward. And we'll hold it here for about 15 more seconds. And in three, two, one. Slowly come up out of that straddle forward fold. Get into a position that you feel good to just let your body recover for a moment. Awesome job there. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna transition into a laying sequence. So we're gonna be laying flat on our backs. This is a great time to just transition in a comfortable way onto our backs. I love getting onto the ground, laying flat with our backs against the floor. I love to just take a moment here, once you get into that position, to just really feel your body against the floor. Feel how your spine kind of just lays flat against the ground. And just take a moment. We're gonna start this sequence by bringing our right knee to our chest while leaving our left leg extended flat on the ground. So bringing that right knee to, to my chest, both of my hands here, I'm gonna grab at my right knee and then pull that knee in towards my body, towards my chest until I get to a comfortable feeling where I can hold it here for about 15 seconds. This time, stretching out that hamstring, your glutes. And in three, two, one, I'm gonna release that right leg, let that right leg fall down to meet my left leg, extend it out straight. And I'm gonna switch when you're ready, this time bringing that left knee in towards my chest. And then with both of my hands at the top of that left knee, pulling in towards my body. 
until you're at a good pressure where you can hold it comfortably for about 15 more seconds. And in three, two, one, and release. Let that left leg fall back down towards the floor. We are gonna do that one more time. Coming back to that right leg. This time, if it feels good for you, if you wanna take this a little bit wider. So we started there with just our knee in towards our chest. This time I'm going to bring my right knee out to the right. So I'm kind of dropping that right knee to the right side, opening up that leg, still keeping my knee bent and still adding pressure in towards my body. But as I'm opening up my hips here, I'm just feeling the stretch a little bit more in my groin, in my inner thigh, than the, when I was feeling it in my hamstring or my glute as we were straight, straight on. Whatever feels best for you here, if you wanna drop that knee or keep it in the center. And in three, two, one, and release, bringing that right leg back down towards the ground. Final one here, bringing that left knee in towards your chest again. Same thing if you wanna take that, this stretch a little bit wider, dropping that left knee down to that left side, opening up your hips. We'll hold for the final 10 seconds here on this stretch. And in three, two, one, and release. Let that left leg fall down to the ground. From here, I'm gonna move into kind of a similar stretch, but we're gonna do a lying leg twist. So incorporating some of a, um, that lower back stretch. Starting with our right leg, bringing that right knee in toward your chest again. This time, if it feels good for you, bringing that right knee across our body to the left side. Trying to bring that right knee across my body to the left while keeping my shoulders planted on the ground. My chest is facing towards the ceiling. So I'm really getting that great twist stretch in on that right side of my body. We'll hold here for about 10 more seconds. And in three, two, one, bringing that right knee back to the right side and then lowering that right leg down towards the ground. Switching to our left side this time, bringing that left knee in towards your chest. If it feels good for you here, now bringing that left knee across our body to the right side. As far as you can bring that knee over without your shoulders raising up off the ground too much. So you're still feeling that really great stretch all throughout the left side of your body. And in three, two, one, bringing that left leg back over to that left side and lowering your left leg down towards the ground. Take a moment here once your body's laying flat back on the ground to just recover. This time I'm gonna bring both of my knees in towards my chest here. So our bodies are in kind of a little ball on the ground. I'm hugging both of my knees in towards my chest on this one. I'm gonna flex my toes to the ceiling to just add in a little extra stretch in my calves, in my ankles, or you can point your toes towards the ground or a little bit of both. From here, hugging my knees in towards my chest, I'm feeling that pressure on my spine against the ground. And if it feels good for you to rock from left to right, you can rock forward and back. 
Just rolling that spine against the ground. Gives you a little massage, stretches out your back. And in three, two, one. I'm gonna bring my feet to the ground. Take a moment here to recover, maybe grab a little bit of water if you need. We have about 10 minutes left in our stretching today. We're gonna finish up and then move into a little bit of a cool down. I am going to stay laying on the ground with my back on the ground, but this time I'm gonna plant my feet flat on the floor so that my knees are bent and my knees are pointed up towards the ceiling. We're gonna move into a figure four stretch here, a laying figure four stretch. I'm gonna start with that right leg, bringing my right foot and my right leg across my left knee so that my legs create that figure four position with my right foot pointed towards the wall to the left and my right knee pointed towards the wall to my right with a space in the middle of my legs. From here, if it feels good, I'm gonna this time take my right hand and on my right knee, just apply some gentle pressure on that right knee, pushing my right knee towards the wall in front of me. So just pushing that knee back a little bit, feeling this opening up my hip flexors, opening up my groin just a little bit. And then from here, if it feels good for you, lifting that left foot off of the ground, you can take away that pressure with your right hand as you're lifting that, that foot off the ground. This is just increasing that stretch, this time in our glutes, in our hamstrings on that right leg. Nice job here in three, two, one lowering my left foot down towards the ground. I'm gonna uncross that right leg and plant my right foot flat on the floor. And we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. When you're ready, bringing that left leg into that figure four position, crossing over the top of your right leg. Same thing to start. I'm gonna take my left hand and just add some pressure on that left knee pushing it away from my body, pushing it towards the wall that's in front of me, feeling my hips open up here. And then when you're ready, if it feels good, lifting that right leg off of the ground, taking that pressure away. So now we're feeling the stretch in our glutes, in our hamstrings. The closer you're bringing your knees to your body, the more intense I'm feeling that stretch in the backs of my legs. And in three, two, one, lowering both of my feet back down towards the floor and taking a moment here to let your body recover. We're gonna finish up here Still gonna have my feet planted flat on the ground. My knees are pointed towards the ceiling. I'm gonna finish here, letting my hands fall down at my side. And then I'm gonna bring both of my knees at the same time are gonna fall to the right. So while keeping my upper back and my shoulders flat on the ground, chest pointed towards the ceiling, letting both of my knees fall to one side. I'm gonna hold it there for a few seconds. And then whenever it feels good for you, bringing those knees back up to center and then falling this time to the left. This one can be a little bit more of a dynamic movement, switching sides whenever feels best for you, kind of like windshield wipers with both of your knees. Gently stretching out that lower back, your hips a little bit. go for about 15 more seconds at your own pace with these knee windshield wipers.
and in three, two, one, and bring both those knees back up to the center. For our last five minutes, I am gonna transition out of this lying on our back position into a tabletop position to finish with a little bit of cat cow and child's pose. So I'm coming into that position on all fours, taking your time to do so, however feels good for you. Hands are stacked underneath my shoulders, knees become stacked underneath my hips. I'm gonna start with some cat cow, lowering my belly button to the floor, bringing my head up to face the wall in front of me, feeling that low arch in my back. And then when you're ready, go in the opposite direction, bringing my belly button up towards my spine, chin comes to my chest. So now I'm arching in the opposite direction here. Again, I like to take these slow and kind of exaggerated as much as I can to really feel the stretch the most effective for me. Switching at your own speed with this cat cow. Taking your time. We'll go for about 10 more seconds here. And in three, two, one. Coming back up to that oh neutral tabletop position. My back is flat. I'm gonna do a thread the needle on both sides. Again, let's take this at our own speed here. Switch whenever feels good for you. I'm gonna start with my left hand, bringing my left hand through the space created by my right hand and my right knee. Extending that left arm as far as I can reach to the right, lowering that left shoulder down to the ground, maybe even your head down towards the ground. Getting that really great spine twist. And then whenever you're ready, gonna switch to that right side, bringing my left hand back to center and then switching with my right hand in between the space created by my left hand, my left knee, stretching as far as I can towards the left, lowering that right shoulder down towards the ground. Awesome job here. When you're ready, coming up out of that position. And I'm going to finish here with a child's pose. I'm going to make my knees a little bit wider apart. I'm going to bring my toes together so that my toes are touching. And I'm going to sit back onto my feet while keeping my arms extended forward. You can play around a little bit with your arm placement, your hands. You want to lower that chest to the ground, lower your head to the ground, whatever feels best here. For the last two minutes here, I want everybody to just get into a position that feels the best for them to kind of finish this out today, whether that's staying in this child's pose, whether it's laying or sitting on the ground, just get into a comfortable position for you that's going to let your body relax, recover. We'll just take about 60 seconds here to let our bodies relax. Focus on our breathing.
When you're ready, I'm gonna slowly just start to wake up my body, wiggle my toes, wiggle my fingers, maybe transition from lying to sitting to standing, just taking your time to wake your body back up, thanking yourself for taking this time to stretch and listen to your body. That is all I have for us today. Thank you so much for joining me for Deep Stretch. I hope you enjoyed it. We will see you all later this week. Reminder that we do not have class on Friday and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you.